Okay, so now we're going to make a, uh, a centered navigation, horizontal navigation. This is something like we have here. Uh, if you notice that uh, it's all horizontal, it's in the middle of the page. Um, there are borders on the top and the bottom. It scrolls away uh, across the whole page 100%, and then we have a large heading on top of that. So we're going to make that first, and then we're going to add some, uh, a couple pictures a subheading, and some paragraphs. And we'll actually talk to the first letter of the paragraph and design that first letter uh, differently than all the other uh, paragraph text. So uh, we're going to go into Text Wrangler. I'll do this in Text Wrangler. Here I have a uh, what it's called a template. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're always going to do HTML first. So um, I have a template in between the body tags. I'm going to put a large heading and just say centered nav example. And then I'm going to close the heading and stop that effect. Then I'm going to hit the return key and drop the cursor down. Again, notice I'm in between the body tags. We're going to make a, an unordered list, UL. So it announces, announces to the computer we're going to make an unordered list. Let me keep it both uh, lowercase. And then, uh, again, time saver is we're going to make one list item with a nested A tag to make it clickable. We're going to make one of those and then just copy and paste the others. So to do that, again, unordered list, we have each. We have a list item, LI. And then inside that LI, to make it clickable, we're going to use the A tag. So we're going to go a ref, and we're going to tell it in quotation marks where to go. Now, we're not going to have it go anywhere right now. So the trick is in web design, if I put a hashtag in the quotation marks, it makes whatever's clickable clickable but doesn't go anywhere. So we're going to say um, home, and we'll kind of use words that you usually see on a navigation. And so that's the, the clickable word is home. And then I'm going to stop the A tag. And then I'm going to close the LI tag. OK. So we have one, one list item with a nested A tag inside of it, all set to go. So once you do that, we're going to um, copy it. And then we're going to paste it, Command V on a Mac or Control-V on a PC. Oop, sorry. So let's see, one, two, let's do one more. Now, when I have those done, notice I didn't, did not close the UL tag. So we're all done with each list item. There are six now. And I'm going to close the UL tag and tell, tell the computer we're done we're done with the unordered list. So I'm going to save that, and I'm going to go back here and make the second one, let's see, about us, how about work, how about, um, gosh, contact, let's see what else we can do. Um, Boy, uh, links. And how about uh, FAQ, frequently asked questions. OK? And I'm going to save it. And uh, for now, if you look at it, it's going to look something like that. There's no design whatsoever. Okay, so the next video we're going to do is we're going to add CSS to this and design it. And we're going to use text shadowing and, uh, again, borders and width 100% and all of that. So um, that's in the next video. Thanks.